Hello, hello again, and welcome to the Option Snipers YouTube channel. This is your Professor Wasi of Option Snipers University, and it is a pleasure to have you meeting with me today. Now, I have a very special treat for you guys. I'm going to be showing you guys a little bit of what I've been learning recently. Now, before I do that, I want you guys to go ahead and like, share, and subscribe to this YouTube channel. Also, go ahead and put in any comments, any different feedback you guys have for us, some different content ideas you guys would want to see us do make sure you put that in the comment section as well all right now also make sure you go ahead and click the notification bell we want you guys to be up to date with all the latest and greatest content that we release here on this channel all right now with that being said we also have something else for you we are going to be doing something very brand new now if you or you and your trading community would like to trade with me virtually live here on YouTube, make sure you go ahead and complete the form in the description section below. All right. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into it. Now, here's what I've been learning very recently. One of the first things I want to do with this video, I want to go ahead and show you guys my chart. Okay. Now you guys see that I have four different charts here. The top left has a SPX contract from a, a zero day SPX contract. And the one on the right is a one day expiration SPX contract. All right. Then on the bottom, we are mirroring the same chart. And as you can see, as I'm switching my um, cursor here on, in Thinkorswim, you can see that it is synchronizing the time frames. All right, guys. Now, and I just drew that by accident. Now, Let's go ahead and get right into it. Yesterday, we're looking at how we had a opening dump at 9.30, right? So these put contracts should have went up, which they did. Both contracts did go up. And then for the most part throughout the rest of the day, we were going sideways up until we finally hit another day low, okay? Another day low. Now, obviously, you're, you're going to see the same thing from the left and the right now. I went ahead and drew different. I went ahead and drew a channel. Why? Because I want you guys to have a macro idea or a view on what actually happened on the put contracts on this day. Okay. So as I previously stated, we have on the left side we have a zero day contract, and on the right side we have a one day till expiration contract. And as we can see, we have very different outcomes. Okay. One of the first few things we want to notice here is that obviously we have a, 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 a cheaper contract price because it's, it's obviously zero day contracts are more risky. Right. And then um, we have um, the same idea on the right side. However, obviously, the contracts are a little bit more pricier. Right. But here's what we're looking at as a result of us going to the downside to start the day after going sideways we end up hitting a new low and this new low ends up getting us still lower than what our previous low was on the, at the beginning of the day okay so although it comes although we're coming down on ES on the chart here this long candle obviously it's probably about just maybe a 5 minute candle or so okay we are barely getting back to the highs of the day on this put contract okay while we're getting very crazy lows on the day um within es now on the right side we have a one day to expiration so we're really only changing one day on the expiration and as we see we still get the same movement towards the beginning of the day okay however as we're continuing to slide down we can see that our contract price is still on an uptrend with the put contracts, right? Because obviously we're, we're looking at how they're moving inversely, okay? While the, while the market is going down, the contract price is still steadily on an incline, whereby we get a different result on zero-day contracts, okay? Even with us getting back to different lows, we are not getting, we're not recovering back to where we should be on the put chart okay whereas on the one day to expiration we're actually a little closer to where we were right on the put chart all right so what are we seeing we're seeing an inverse relationship and really this is all due to one word and one word early only and that is theta okay theta t-h-e-t-a 
All right, now with theta, what theta does, and you sh should be able to go back to our options, options trading for beginners video where I explained in detail what theta is and what it does. But essentially, it's time decay, okay? As the day moves and progresses, right, as time elapses, theta is what would crush our contract price, especially if we are going sideways, okay? What I'm seeing is that although contracts are a little bit more pricier with the one day to expiration, the theta is not as much of a concern when dealing with a trendy day, okay? So here's the deal. With zero day contracts, the theta continues to slide further to the downside, whereas we would need a drastic move to the upside in order for us to regain our momentum and, and, and at least break even if we're up here, okay? Whereby it's it's a little bit more favorable on the one day to expiration. So the one day to expiration, while it, it is a little bit more pricier, it does have a smoother ride, all right? Now here's some of the benefits of selecting a one day to expiration or even a little further out, maybe two or three days versus a zero day expiration, all right? One of the first few things is, as I just mentioned, is, is a smoother ride. As you can tell, there are different areas where we can actually double down on our position, okay, where we can actually increase our position size, okay? So one of the first things is that it's a smoother ride. Now, the second benefit is, like I just said, there's more opportunities to increase position size and they can be further apart. So what that means is if I wanted to grab a put right here, and I could double down, I could still decide to double down on a put right here because we're still getting lower highs until we then finally dump. And now I can take my gains from entering into, into this position over here and right here, right? Which would be at the low right here and the low right here, okay? Now, I wouldn't be able to do that on the zero day because the contracts are already expiring. And who knows you know, who wants to buy it at this point in time? At least with the one day expiration, even though we're closer into close, we might potentially get this um, this end of day either dump or rise. Typically, that happens at the end of the day. And then we can then decide whether we would want to swing this contract or not into the following day. Whereas with the zero day contract, we do not have that possibility. All right, guys. So that's benefit number two. Benefit number three is simply just being confident in the market. OK, if you're a trend trader, you're potentially OK with the idea of watching something play out versus as a scalper or a quick scalper doing zero day contracts. You are potentially not in the business of patience. OK, you're you're potentially not as calm in your decision making based on the fact that the theta is taking and eating away at your contract. All right. What we're looking to do is we're looking to eliminate all the outliers or not the outliers, all the um, outside or external um, things that can affect our contract. If we already have a great idea on where we should enter and exit based off of levels, a lot of the turbulence throughout the day shouldn't affect our ability to be still profitable, okay? However, it does look like that occurs when we are trading zero-day contracts versus when we are trading one-day one day till expiration contracts or even further out, all right? So the moral of the story is this, the contract price is more expensive, but you have greater confidence when you are in a situation where the contract moves pretty similarly to the equity itself, right? Which allows you to then decide to potentially put more risk on the table, or as I mentioned earlier, continue to double down while waiting for the larger trend move. All right, guys, now, this is not for the weak hearted. Obviously, the, 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 the allure of the zero day contracts is specifically the fact that they are cheaper, right? So we have that understanding. But if you are a volume trader, okay, or even if you are a, a newer trader that is looking to only trade one contract at a time and has the idea of trend trading and trading into momentum, then you may want to check out trading a one day expiration instead of the popular zero day expirations that we typically see in our industry all right i hope that helps you out now if you would want to learn a little bit more about this and even get a little deeper into options trading what i would suggest is you would join our five figure trading challenge that we host 
this month all right this month and we potentially may not be holding this too much longer but however as a result of at as after this recording you should be able to go ahead and click the link in the description below so that we can get to the next level in our options trading all right guys you guys are gonna have to forgive me for a few of these mess ups because it is so early in the morning however we definitely want to see you at the five figure trading challenge this is going to be one hour commitment every day monday through friday where we're going to give you guys all that you need to learn and know about options trading so that you can become a generational wealth creator for your family all right guys now if that sounds like something that you would like to do again go ahead and click the link below for the five figure trading challenge and we will see you soon all right guys i hope this helps go ahead and leave us comments and feedback so that we can be of best assistance to you all right see you soon ciao for now Peace.